Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh, and today I'm going to be showing you the four custom crankbaits I've painted um, in order of when I painted them, and just see how much better they get and how much I've improved and these lures design improved. So let's get into it. So the first crankbait I painted was with an airbrush. All of these are with an airbrush, but as you can see, like it looks like it got painted. It has... Um, you can see like paint blotches on it. Let me focus. Focus. There we go. Yeah, you can see paint blotches on it. The gill plate has hardly any paint on it. The shad dot's not very round. Um, some parts are darker blue than the top. I wanted the top to all be this color right here. But as you can see, there's darker parts because I didn't know how to control it. And same thing for the other side. There we go. Um, it looks like it got painted. There's too much paint. The shad that actually smeared right there. I tried to cover it up, but it didn't really work. Um, the belly didn't get fully painted. And this was just a bad lure. There's also a bit of paint on the bill. All right, so let's get to the next bait. That was actually the first paint, or the, the first lure I ever airbrushed. So then the second lure I airbrushed would be this lure. Same deal, just a crankbait. Um, they're all the same model that I painted. I ordered a pack of five. It was like $2 for a pack of five and they've turned out really good uh, on eBay. So this lure, I did um, a more natural blend right here. Tried to blend the green and the black. Uh, didn't really work the way I wanted it to. I could have used like a stencil or some tape or something to do that. But uh, I tried to freehand it and it sometimes mixed, but it's not very good. And you can see the dots. Um, but the stripe is pretty straight and the green is pretty even on both sides. And then the yellow belly. Um, no shad that on this one. Red eyes. Um, the problem with this one is that some of the paint is, like, uneven on the belly, and then there's a lot of paint on the bill. Alright, on to the next bait. So, the next bait I painted was, like, a shad. Um, it's got the shad dot, as you can see. Um, the white belly. Same problem as the last one. I was using a bad clear coat, and it took the paint off. And so, that's why... Oops. That's why it's all blotched and stuff. But I got a new clear coat, and you'll see that on the next lure. So um, the yellow didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. I wanted to go all the way from here down. But it, like, stopped at this point right here. So I worked on that on the next lure. Um, got the black back. Some paint, like, chipping right there, I think. I touched it with my fingernail accidentally, and then I had already changed the paint, so there's no no point in going back. Here's the other side. Um, looks pretty much the same. There's The paint's not as dark as I would have liked it. There's some white here on the bill. I don't think it really matters too much. But yeah, so let's get on to the next bait. This one was better than the first one, but still not amazing. Alright, so this next bait's my favorite bait. It's the most new one I painted. It's this craw-colored crankbait. I like it because the stripe on the back is like really straight and it's nice and shiny. And the red came out really bright and dark. Um, I put these dots on the side just for like natural fish markings. And it just really adds a different, like, level of, I don't know, detail to this lure. Make a fish want to bite some more. Um, this time you don't really see any paint chipped or gone. And it's all pretty even. The paint's pretty even on the belly here. And we'll go to the other side. Flip it around. Um, there's only one impurity on this bait, and that's this bubble you see right here. You can see that. Let's try and get that closer. 
see if it focuses. It might not. It's really close to the camera. Um, but you can see there's this bubble right there. And that's because of the clear coat. I actually, I accidentally, like, mixed it too fast and then put it on. And that one bubble shows up there, which kind of annoys me. And so, yeah, that's this bait. Um, that's all of my baits in order of how I painted them. And you can see there's tremendous improvement. Let me put my two baits side to side right here. Look at the difference. Look at how bad this bait on the right was. That was horrible. Look how much paint's on that bill. There's hardly any on this. That could easily be scraped off. Um, this one's all, like, nice and even. This one's just trash and looks all messed up. So, yep, there's my evolution of baits and bait painting. These four baits. I'll be doing this periodically with my different baits. And I will see you guys in the next video. Please follow my fish brain, which you can see on the left right now. And like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.